Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are doing Kill or Be Killed, which is a graphic novel by Ed Brubaker, Sean Phillips, and Elizabeth Breitweiser, I think. <laughs> my buddy Laertes DD uh, sent me this for my birthday, and I read it almost immediately. I think it was the day after he sent it. I was looking forward to it. Um, it's very much in the vein of one of my own uh, stories, uh, Hope for the Wicked, and uh, that, that series, the Larry Laughlin series, which uh, is continuing. If you guys uh, are follow my work, my writing, the series is continu continuing. Pennies for the Damned will be re-released in the spring <laughs> of 2019, and then every six months, roughly six to nine months after that, there will be another new Larry, Larry Laughlin book that comes out, and there's a total of five of them. Uh, Hope for the Wicked, Pennies for the Damned, um, Flesh for the Asking, Corpses for the Grinder, and last but not least, Judgment for the Righteous. Those five books are coming, so just be patient. Uh, the, the first two are re-releases, Hope for the Wicked and Pennies for the Damned. The last three are, they, they've been written for years now, but um, they never released before. Anywho, that... That information is mostly for Laertes because he enjoyed Hope for the Wicked so much. Um, but today we're talking about Kill or Be Killed. Uh, this book was a lot of fun. It was very gory. The artwork was on point. Um, there's all different kinds of there's sex, nudity, all different kinds of uh, sex, nudity, violence. Uh, every, I think the only thing we didn't get was drug use. Uh, it was a very dark story, um, very, well, noir. Um, it's not a detective story, though. It's about a, a, a younger man, uh, not a teenager, but probably 20s, roundabout, who seems to be controlled by, a, a, or told by a demon, forced by a demon to, to kill people, but he, can only, he, he should only kill the bad people. Tr watching him try to figure out who to kill first and then who to kill after that, that was very interesting. And the very last page of the graphic novel kind of alluded to a twist, and I'd be interested, Laertes, I'd be interested in discussing that with you, whether or not it's supposed to be a hard twist or whether or not it's supposed to be an open-ended kind of thing. And I know there's more after this. What would you say? There's four more, five more, something like that? Um, I am looking forward to getting into the rest of them. I don't know how long that it'll be before I actually get my hands on them. Um, it's rare that I seek out graphic novels, but you know maybe I'll look into getting these soon. They're also ten bucks a pop, um, which is rather cheap for a graphic novel, but still a little more than you know I pay <laughs> for for stuff like this. So not that I don't. I don't know, I just don't set aside the budget for that kind of thing. You, any of you like that? Well, you don't... There are certain things that you like, but they, it's just got to be in a certain price range. You don't go beyond that. Now, I'll spend, you know, $30 for a hardcover, but when it comes to comics and graphic novels, I have, like, a threshold of, like, 5 bucks. And I know that's... I know that's terrible. I'm sorry. Fuss at me down there in the comments below. Um, not that I don't value the artwork. It's just... It's not my thing. It's not something that I'm going to return to. Um, but if, if you guys, please let me know if I'm alone on this. It'd be, it'd be nice to know that I'm not, but even if I am alone in it, at least I know that I'm over here by myself. <laughs> either, either way. Anyway, so I'm going to give Kill or Be Killed a solid four stars. I did like the artwork. I did like the story. Um, the, I don't want to give any spoilers for anybody who, uh, who is looking to, to read it, but, uh, there is a very odd kind of love triangle thing going on um, that I liked to a point, but it has to do with infidelity, and it's really weird, but right now, I've read a lot of stuff with infidelity in it. I'm reading Jaws right now. Uh, I was rereading Cujo um, just for a certain couple of scenes, and those just happen to be the scenes. The infidelity, there's a lot of cheating going on in the literary, in my literary world right now. It's just odd. Um, but that was probably the only part that I was iffy on, but just because I'd read so much of it. So if you read Kill or Be Killed, let me know down there in the comments below. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. Thank you for the birthday gift again, Laertes. Until next time, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!